Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today we're back with another episode of How to Dress Like and it's going to be all about Kai. Kai has amazing style. There's a perfect mix of masculine and feminine and what I really rate about his style is that there's always very traditional there we go again. There are very traditional elements of men's tailoring, men's shirting, all throughout, and I just am here for it. In this series, I show you how to recreate looks from Instagram, airport, packed in the day-to-day, -day, stage outfits, everywhere, basically. And I'll be talking you through the key pieces, the silhouettes, the trends, and most importantly, how to recreate it with affordable and accessible fashion. Today I'll be recreating these looks in women's wear, but let me know if you want a men's wear version and maybe I'll style it on myself. <laughs> Kai look one, we've got his most recent Instagram post and I believe it's to celebrate the new Gucci store opening in Seoul. What I really like about this look is the like statement piece of knitwear. When I originally looked at this, I thought it was a jacket. It could very easily be a jacket with the shape of it, that crew neck, the check, the gold buttons, it's definitely got elements of jacketing, tailoring in it, but it's actually a cardigan, I believe, because when you zoom in, you can really see that knitted texture. And what I love about this check is that it's been woven in a way that it doesn't look like it's knitted. It could even be like painted on top. Like, do you know what I mean? There's something very painterly about this check motif. And then you've got that solid navy border, the gold button. And then you can see underneath he's paired it with this pale blue striped shirt. But what's really, really nice about this shirt is that there's this like rusty, like ready orange stripe going through it. And that is just a very like a traditional, like men's business stripe. You see it a lot in like classic brands. We used to do it a lot at the heritage brand I used to work for. And you can see that little stripe cuff poking out through the cardigan. It's just such a nice subtle print clash, like looking at it from far away, or I mean, without zooming in. This always makes me curious. Do people really zoom in on Instagram posts? I always love like a little zoom, but do people, do people really do it? Let me know, <laughs> let me know. But anyway, back to this. I think unless you zoom in, you can't necessarily see the stripe. And I think that's what's really nice about it. It's just so incredibly subtle. And that statement piece of knit is still the statement. That is your key piece. It's not fighting against the stripe. I think the bag as well, it adds, something quite uh, like a little feminine touch to the look and I'm really here for it. I really love that contrast of like that tan leather against the wicker and it's like a very neutral bag. So again, nothing's in competition with that key piece cardigan. To affordably recreate this, I think you're better off going down the jacket route instead of the knitwear route. Knitwear is so much more expensive to produce and it will depend on the type of wool that they use, the type of blend, the knitting technique, the amount of colors going into it, the trimming, like the amount of time it will take to knit something, even on an industrial machine compared to creating a jacket in a factory, it's gonna be so much more. So that's why knitwear is always like, like, <laughs> expensive. H&M has some really great affordable shirt jackets, which is a really great way to recreate this like casual effect of Kai's statement cardigan. We've got this plaid black and white one. I think it's just got that really nice casual fit and it's slightly longer. So it will give that knitwear kind of effect. Or you could go for a more cropped version. We've got this jacquard version with the puff sleeves. It's definitely a statement because of the silhouette more so than the actual jacquard fabric. Or you could go for this really nice houndstooth crop shirt jacket. I just think most of the jackets in the shops at the moment, they are either, everything's either like very like black and white, like crisp monotone, or it's like pastels. There's, there's no red, but I feel it's just the season. Red like usually comes back in, in like your autumn, winter selection. Underneath your statement jacket of choice, I think you could wear absolutely anything. You could go for a white blouse, a white t-shirt, a crop top, tank top, whatever suits your fancy. But if we're gonna be recreating it Kai style, then I think you should go for a very subtle blue and white stripe. H&M have a really great selection in a variety of fits. You could go for a very classic fit of blouse, or I think this 
white with the black stripe one that's slightly oversized. I think that could be a really nice, like subtle way to like include the stripe against the check of the shirt jackets. And if you're going for a more cropped jacket, I think it would be really cute to keep the shirt underneath cropped. And then you could go for high-waisted black trousers, high-waisted jeans, do you know what I mean? It would just really enhance that crop cut of the jacket. Alternatively, you could go vintage. You could find a vintage man's like formal shirt. I think that would also be a really sick way to style this. We can see in the picture that Kai's wearing a pair of denim jeans, but I think you should go for like high-waisted black trousers. And that's just because it will make it look a bit more sleek and then you can get like a really cool pair of trainers and this is where that like low bun like the statement earrings like always go on about this is when that would really like come into play and just look really really sick kai look too i had to include this i feel like this is like the grungy like younger brother of the first look we just spoke about the first look it was like it was polished it was put together we had like the shirt with the knit and here we've got like the grungy version and just, I love it. I love it so much. I love this oversized plaid jacket. It looks like there's some kind of emblem on the top chest pocket. It's very kind of like school uniform vibes, if you know what I mean. And then we've got the black t-shirt tucked into those light wash wide leg jeans. It's honestly such a trend at the moment. Men's and women's wear, skinny jeans, are gone. You need to invest in some wide leg jeans. I mean, you don't need to, do it if you want, but do you know what I mean? You just keep seeing these jeans popping up everywhere. I like the fact as well, we've got that slight turn up and then we've got like that little shoe. I can't really tell from the shot if it's like a converse, but I think a converse, a van, that kind of shoe would look really great with this look because it really just ties in with that like grungy vibe. I think this look could be worn all year round. It's trans seasonal because you could chop and change out that black top. You could go for a black roll neck, a black sweater in the winter months when it's colder, or you could go, you know, like the crop top, the tank top, the really light t-shirt route in the summer. So I think it's just a great all rounder and just the grungy vibe of it is just so cool. Recreating this look, get yourself down Zara. Zara have got so many amazing like plaid blazers at the moment. Like I said in the first look, everything is very like black and white or pastels at the moment. You're not going to find a more like grungier style at the moment. It's like I said, it's just not the season for it. These jackets on Zara are really great though. You've got your white and red, you've got your yellow, you've got your pink, like just very great spring blazers. And I think if you go and get a fit that's slightly more oversized. You get your wide leg high-waisted jeans and then the top option underneath, that's up to you. Wear what you're comfortable with, wear what looks good on you with this look. I think even going for like a lighter, maybe like a white top underneath instead of the black would suit this color palette much better. And then you can still get your Vans, your Converse, like any trainer that you like. And it's just, oof. And then I think when it comes to styling the look, a really nice crossbody bag, like one of those like little bags and then having like your hair like down and like a bit messy, like it just goes with that vibe. High look three, we've got this really sick smart casual look from an editorial in Esquire. I don't know when this came out, but I just love the setting. The fact that he's in this like smart casual look and then you can see like the cars behind him, like the stainless steel like tool drawers. I think it's just, it's so, so sick. And what I like about this look is that there's something slightly feminine about the silhouette of this outfit. You can see that the blue jumper is cropped when his arms are up, but when his arms go down, it would just be like skimming over the waistband of those high waisted trousers and then the high waisted trousers coming down to that loafer. I just think it's a really nice silhouette and it's a really nice color and just like the texture of the knit. Like, I feel like when it comes to Kai's style, you've either got like a jacket or a knit. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's just the two like statement pieces that I'm pulling out. It's like a statement jacket or a statement knit. And then he's got those elements of like traditional men's tailoring in there. I'm, I love it, I love it. Zooming in on the trouser, they look like a very formal men's trouser. They're a gray pinstripe fabric. And then you can see that there are two pleats at the front, which is gonna add like a really nice volume, which is helping this wide leg shape and recreating this in women's wear is just going to be so easy because we've already got that high-waisted trouser, the slightly cropped silhouette. So it's very easy. Let me show you. Mm H&M -hmm. have got this really beautiful puff sleeve cardigan in this really nice soft light blue. The fabric just looks very like 
soft and very kind of like fluffy like Kai's did. And also I like the fact this is puff sleeve because puff sleeves are such a big trend right now. Alternatively, there's this knitted set from River Island. It's a little cable knit bralette with a cardigan. I think it's really cute. It's a really nice color. And as we can see on the model, she's wearing a pair of jeans. So these cardigans will look great with jeans as well as these high-waisted trousers. I've pulled out these high-waisted pleated gray trousers, both from Weekday and ASOS, I think. They go really nicely with the look because it's a very light, like pastel, like spring kind of vibe, but you don't necessarily need to go for gray. Black would look good with this. If you already have wide leg trousers in your wardrobe, get a cardigan that will go with, and it's just such a good way to recreate this look. Another way that I think would look really, really sick is if you go for a pair of like oversized gray trackies, it'll give this kind of like cool, like tomboy effect. I think if you wear the cardigan, maybe with like nothing underneath and then that low bun, the sunglasses, the earrings, trainers, it's just gonna give like a very like cool edgy vibe. Also like effortless, that little like 90s shoulder bag. That would look so good. If you have a bit more money to spend, Mango have these really nice blue cardigans. They are still cropped, but they've got a really nice texture to them. We've got this tie front one, and then we've got this really like embossed, like cable knit version. I think it's just so nice, and it really will work well with this high-waisted silhouette that we've got inspired from Kai. Kai look four, I think this has to be one of my favorite Kai looks of all time. I spoke about this in my Kai airport outfits. I think I gave it like 10 wings. I mean, why would you not? But I just love it. Again, there's something quite feminine about the tailoring, like that blankety like blazer and with the edging. Do you know what I mean? There's just something like a little bit of like a feminine edge to it. I love it. And then that pink cable knit roll neck underneath. Like, ooh. This look is also playing into that light wash jeans trend. We can see here that this cut is a bit more of a straight cut. It's not as wide as we've seen, but it works really nicely with this silhouette because we've got that nice, like strong shoulder of the jacket, the oversized fit of the jacket, and then that slim silhouette underneath. I think if you're gonna go oversized on a jacket, it is best to keep your silhouette underneath quite slim, just because that way it doesn't look like you're being like swallowed by the outfit and it makes oversized pieces a lot easier to wear. What's really nice about Kai's blazer is this blank texture, but it's just not the right season to find that. When it comes back around to like autumn, winter, that's when we're gonna see those more woolly blank textures come back in. Mango and ASOS have these really nice styles that are gonna allow you to recreate this look in spring, summer. And then underneath, I found this really cute cami. It's got that cable knit texture to it. So you're getting the same vibe, but you know, you're not gonna be like dripping with sweat wearing a cable knit roll deck and a blankety <laughs> wool blazer in spring. Like, no, no, no. Mm -mm. Pair these pieces with your favorite high-waisted wide leg jeans. If you've not invested yet, I keep including these H&M ones. I think they're really affordable and H&M denim is really great quality. And then in Kai's look, he's got a pair of Chelsea boots on, but you know, we're in summer. I think a pair of black heeled mules would really finish this look off nicely. And then your statement bag, I know, Kai's got this very expensive, very structured top handle Gucci bag. If you have a Gucci bag in that same like nude, like monogram, pull it out, slap it on. But if not, get your favorite statement bag out. Just make sure the color works with this outfit. Otherwise your finishing touch is gonna kill it. Kai look five, we have this amazing Gucci jacquard suit. It's very, very 70s. It's included in this editorial in L. Just even the color palette is very 70s, like that subdued yellow. We've got the oversized peak lapel. A peak lapel is when your lapel piece comes out further than your collar piece. We can see that it's a double breasted. It looks like it's just got two buttons, so a DB2. We've got that collar poking out from under the jacket in that orangey tone. It's just very, very 70s. I really love it. You can see as well that the trousers got this very slight flare to it. And then he's got those black heeled Chelsea boots on, like high shine. I just think that very kind of like matte texture of the suit and then the high shine of the boot, it just works really well together. The 70s trend is huge at the moment and we're seeing a lot of these geometric prints, a lot of statement suits. 
a lot of 70s silhouette suits, the flares, the big jackets, and I think this one from Mango is the closest you're gonna find on the more affordable side of fashion. I don't think, I'm not saying by any means that this is like the most affordable thing. For this whole suit, you're looking at about $200, but when you think $200 compared to what the thousands and thousands that that Gucci one would have cost, I feel like this suit is also very close in silhouette. We've got that oversized notch lapel, a different lapel shape, but it's still got that oversized quality. We've got the gold buttons, it's double breasted. This looks like a DB4. And then the trousers are that really nice flared shape again. So very close. Even though this look is very, very 70s, it's also about the power of a statement suit and you just can't go wrong with a statement suit. And remember those, really beautiful like pastel Zara check blazers I showed you earlier. They're full suits. I think this checked yellow one from Zara has to be my favorite. There's definitely like a clueless kind of vibe to it, but there's also a very like 90s Chanel vibe there as well with like that tweedy fabric, the raw edge, the fit of it, the crop top, the skirt, the blazer. Just oh, so good. I know it's not 70s, but there's your statement. And then they've done the same again with that like cream and red one it's just like zara have done a fucking great job styling suits like this the suit is the statement so you want to keep everything else quite low key whether that is a trainer a mule a sandal you just want to keep it quite neutral and the same with your accessories you could go for a crossbody you could go for a small bag a shoulder bag but just keep it very neutral. If there's black in the print, go for black. Just pull out a color that's in the print of that suit and then get the accessories to go with or use the accessories you already have. Our final Kai look, Kai look six. I wanted to go for this one because it is very classic menswear and he's literally like, I'm a CEO bitch. I've just left the courts. Like it's just that kind of vibe. We've got that very, very structured white shirt. To me, this looks more of like a tuxedo shirt. We can see that double cuff turned back. We can see the shape of the bib and that winged tip collar. I think it's just, do you know what I mean? No one really wears shirts like this in their like day to day, even formally dressed like this because it is very like black tie. So I really like the fact that Kai has incorporated that into this outfit. And then Kai has paired the tuck shirt with these black pleated trousers. Ugh, it's just classic, do you know what I mean? Like this is classic menswear. The trousers like hit right at the waist. You've got that skinny formal belt. So you can see like the waist of the trousers just slightly above. It's just little touches like that that look really, really nice. And then we've got this dark green top handle, like briefcase kind of vibe bag, probably Gucci. I mean, come on. And then it's been finished with the black shoe. I just think this is really, really sleek and it's very classic menswear. And I love it when you take like classic menswear looks and like restyle them in women's wear. It just always looks so fantastic. The beauty of this look is the fact that you can style it to suit anyone, anyone. Starting off with the trousers, go for a high-waisted wide leg black trouser. It's flattering on a lot of different body types and you can find these type of trousers on any budget. H&M do a great pair, Mango do a great pair. So find a pair that suit you and your budget. And then when it comes to the white shirt, you can have so much fun with this. You could go for a more cropped style with the tie front. Again, H&M and Mango have really great options. You could go for a crop shirt that just hits the top of those high-waisted trousers. It would look really, really good. You could go for a boxy shirt. You could go for a really nice wrap shirt that will really like snatch you in at the waist. Wrap shirts just suit so many different body types. Or you could go for a shirt that's got really nice embroidered detail. It's just any white shirt that suits you, tickles your fancy. Black trousers is just a classic. The beauty of this outfit is that you can style it in so many different ways to make it lean more casual or lean more formal. If you go for trainers, a brightly colored bag, a cross body bag, and then like have your hair down, do you know what I mean? It's gonna lean more casual. Even a pair of sandals would work so, so well with this look. Chunky sandals, more like dainty sandals anything. And then if you want to lean more formal, you could go for a nice pair of heels. You could go for a pair of black mules. You could go for a more structured, like formal black bag, keeping it very monochromatic. You could go for that low slick bun, 
the statement lip. Do you know what I mean? You can make this outfit lean towards whatever you want. So it's wardrobe essential. And it's exactly the same with Kai's menswear look. Imagine if he wasn't wearing that very formal belt, remove that. And then if he had a pair of like really cool trainers on and then like a crossbody bag, it would just immediately take it away from that like formal side and draw it more casual. So it really is down to the styling. I really love Kai's style, the statement jackets, the statement knitwear, and then all like the classic elements of menswear. It just speaks to me. I love nerding out on like the traditional like menswear elements. So, so good. Let me know in the comments what your favorite look from today's video has been, but what you should do next. If you've not already seen it, is go check out my Kai Airport Outfits video. I'll leave a little card up here in the top screen for you. But thank you so much for watching and a massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.